Okay. Got it? As quick as we can, Mac. Quick as we can. Any questions? It goes for all of us, right? Any <laughs> questions? Good? All right, thanks, Coach. It's not even my birthday anymore, Ross. <laughs> it's moved on to the next day. That's 10 minutes after my birthday. Um, pleased with the win, obviously. It, it was a perfect opening game for us. Uh, we had not seen their quarterback, Musa, and he had an outstanding night. He was a guy at Vanderbilt that didn't play very much. We saw him a little bit in the spring game. The first pass he threw in the spring game was intercepted, um, and we didn't think he'd start. We thought the other one was really good, and we kept wondering, and, and, and obviously now we know why he started. He's really good. And they did a tremendous job of getting the ball out of their hands fast. Um, uh, we dominated the running game. They had 56 yards rushing. We had 314, and usually you win the game if that happens. We did not lose a turnover, and we forced two, and, and that's really, really important. We got 14 points off both turnovers. Um, we gave up too many, two fourth downs, fourth and four and fourth and ten right before the half, which you can't do. You've got to make a play in those situations. Uh, but uh, then they forced a turnover at the other end of the field, and offense jumped out and, and scored with 31 seconds left. So. Uh, we end up scoring a touchdown right before the half. We get the ball to start the second half. We score a touchdown there. It's a 14-point swing and, and really put us in position to go ahead and win the game. Uh, very proud of Drake. Um, one of the best first games I've ever seen. He was poised. Uh, he was accurate. His uh, running ability was good. Uh, we did not have a sack. We had very few penalties. I think we, we might have. We had the holding penalty at the end of the game. Um, that uh, was down there at the one-yard line. But other than that, when the, the older guys were playing, we didn't have a penalty. Uh, we had the one they called with the one-minute drill, but they didn't take it. Um, so, or, or we had the one offsides they didn't take defensively. So we had one penalty on offense. Uh, the young backs are good. I was really, really proud of them. Uh, we thought they were good. Um, we didn't tackle well early, which is usually the case in your opening ball game because you have trouble tackling a lot in, in preseason. Uh, but uh, no sacks, we forced three, very few penalties, no turnovers, we forced two. Uh, we were four for four in the red zone for touchdowns, not counting the last one, which we just let the clock run out. Uh, and, and they were three for three. So we got to do a better job defensively in the red zone and, and in situations. Uh, but the, other than that, a kicking game was good. Other than that, I thought it was a great night. Questions? Yes. Yeah, he's real good, I think. He's big, he's fast, he's powerful, um, and he's, uh, he's, he is a, a difference maker. And, and George is really fast. George made everybody look slow when he was out there on his run. Mac, what was your thoughts when you saw Drake go airborne? You know, you love a competitive yeah, when he was about to go over the bar, I said, no, man, <laughs> come on. Uh, but he is a competitor, and and some of the the no sacks were were Coach Picknell and that offensive line doing a great job. I've seen that throughout camp. Uh, some of it was Drake getting the ball out of his hands so fast because we've changed some things offensively and moved the quarterback some, and some of it's his ability to 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 move around in the pocket and keep his eyes downfield and make throws. How much was the stuff over the middle in part his vision, and, and what, how much of a strength? Yeah, he, he is very accurate. He's got great vision. He's a good decision maker. Um, and he's big. He, he's 6'5", so he can see. And 220, so he's, he's, he looks thin. He's really not. He's a, he's a big guy that, that obviously can, can really run. I think the thing that surprised us the most is how fast he is. Um, and, and we saw that some in his summer work because he, he won a lot of the races in the summer. And the kid, I told the kids, I said, those defensive backs, wide receivers, Drake's beating you, man. Quarterback's beating you. And he said his legs are longer. Uh, so, uh, but they knew that. They, they watched him this summer. So they, they knew that he's got some special skills. Is that what you expected with his composure and confidence? And he seemed pretty comfortable out there. I did. I think when you're raised in a family where brother one of Baseball national championship. Brother won a basketball national championship. Dad was a quarterback here and, and very good and competitive. Uh, and he's the uh, younger brother. Uh, those older ones beat him down, and he had to compete to, to 
have a place in the room and and um, I think like Sam, he thinks this is what he's supposed to be doing. He grew up thinking I'll be the quarterback at Carolina and uh, when he, he committed to Alabama, I said, I, I'm, I'm hanging on, man. I, I'm not, you, you don't need to be anybody but here. This is a place where you need to be in school and, and um, I, I think he has a chance to be real good. Max, when you called it a perfect opening game for you guys, is that in some ways because you had the game, but there was some game pressure there. It was 35 24 one of the fourth quarter. Yeah. No, I, 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 you want pressure. You want them to be confident. You want them to finish. Um, but but you, you, need, you need some game-type pressure. You, you talk about it all the time. You meet on leadership. You meet on finishing. You meet on confidence. You meet on toughness. Uh, but to, you, you, you can't produce the moment until you get out there and get in it. And I thought when it got to that moment, our guys can count. And, and they took care of it and changed everything immediately. Any concern over Yes. Defensive? Any concern over what? Over the stress they had defensively. You got defensively. They were able to move the ball. And you converted a lot of those third downs. They also had some first down success as well. Yeah. What, what are those? Uh, what you just said. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd rather shut everybody out. But they got good players. That 19's a really good player. Uh, those backs, uh, number one, transferred from Pittsburgh. He played here four or five years ago. Uh, so they're, they're a talented offensive team. I was disappointed that we didn't get more pass rush, but we had three sacks. Uh, and I, I think we've we got to get better on defense. We're, we're not going to walk out there and shut everybody out. And they've got a good offensive team. I was surprised we moved it as well as we did. Their defense was one of the best in the country last year at, in FCS. And they even named themselves. And... and um, a lot of them were back, so I, I was really surprised that we were able to move it as much. So, uh, and we knew nothing about this quarterback. I thought they had a good game plan. Uh, they didn't go deep. They, they were going to get it out of his hands, and they were going to run a little zone read. And, and uh, but I, I thought they did a good job. Matt, what was it like being back here? Yes. What was it like going through this kind of, I don't know, cancellation scare uh, with all the confinement? Uh, it, it wasn't fun for Bubba or I either one. We're sitting there yesterday. I'm actually with the TV people waiting on a text from Bubba to see if we're going to have a game or not. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm in the interview with them, and I'd get a text, and I'd say, excuse me, let's wait a minute and see if we're going to keep doing this because we may not have a game. And they said, well, they're in a team meeting. And I said, well, just let us know. Uh, and then they said they're playing. And then when I looked at their depth chart, we got one this afternoon for the first time. There were only three guys missing out of the two deep. I said, I don't, I don't – I think they're good, man. You better get ready to play. But I thought it was a, a really good mind game for our players. They were calling me because they have buddies on the team saying, Coach, I don't think we're going to play. And I said, well, we are. So you, you need to get ready to play. So we talked today about um, you've got to be able to, to maintain that edge regardless of all the distractions that are around you. So I thought it was a, a, a great mental test for our team. I even talked to them about Florida State's hour and a half delay. Um, you get ready to play at, at four, 4 o'clock, and then you're not playing until 5.30 or 6.30. Uh, so you you got to be able to do that. There's, there's no excuses. You, you've got to handle your mind. And um, minds are crazy, and they drift. And uh, young guys can be all over the place. So I was really, really proud that they were able to, to handle that distraction of not playing. We are playing. There's nobody coming. Whoops, they're all coming. Uh, and, and I told them, you, we're, we're, everything we've talked about is you've got to live your life and, and practice and play to a standard of excellence. So it has nothing to do with the team we're playing. And that's what we've got to do and build off of that, not to be up and down like we were last year. We have got to play every week regardless of who's out there. And, and that's an important message for us. Mike, what does it say to you about the amount of different receivers Made was able to hit, especially the amount of tight end involved in the Yeah, I thought the, the, the fact that the ball was distributed to so many different people is a, another credit to Drake. He went to the open guy. I think he had two balls that were short to, to Josh. And other than that, I don't think he threw a bad ball. Maybe the overthrow to, to um, Gavin Blackwell. And there was somebody in his face then, but but I thought him distributing the ball like that's the reason so many guys caught it.
It looked like uh, Power Apple's Flash. I don't know what you saw. It looked like a while. He played it. Yeah. Like it like I, I, I think so. He, lo he loves to play. He never gets tired. He, he's like an energizer bunny out there, and he loves to hit people. Uh, so I thought he made a lot of plays. Is there any update on Tony Grimes' assess? Uh, no. Uh, uh, he was out of the game after that second drive, I think, and, and uh, medical people, they never tell us after the game, so hopefully they'll tell us tomorrow, and when we get some information, we'll get it to you. How about Josh Brown? It seemed like he left in the fourth quarter and didn't re return the game. Uh, yeah, I had enough. <laughs> <laughs> I said, get him out. And that's when Cam Kelly started returning punts. And it's good for Cam to return punts. We got some second team players, the white team players in on the last extra point. We got some in on kickoff. We got some in on uh, punt return. Uh, so we got, we played a lot of players tonight. And, and that was helpful as well. Coach, you mentioned Marion Hampton over 100 yards rushing tonight. Uh, the young running backs that you have, do you see him kind of taking a leg up on those guys now and performance like this? We have uh, told the guys it's every day. You got to produce every day, and you never know if a freshman's going to be able to handle the pressure of going to work with a focus every day. So tomorrow will be interesting. Tuesday's practice will be interesting to see if he's walking around with a little swagger, if he goes back to work. So we have told them that uh, you got to produce every day if you're going to keep the job. And there are a lot of good running backs. Elijah Green's really good. He comes in at the end of the game, and we're trying to get the game over, and he's about to score. Um, so, but he, we, we, we're fortunate to have a, a lot of good running backs. Caleb Hood has missed a lot of preseason. He had a fumble on the sideline, even though it went out of bounds. We're not going to fumble the ball. Uh, so we've got to take care of the ball. So that was another message to him that the guys that are going to play, because he's really good too. Guys that are going to play are going to take care of the ball. Uh, earlier this preseason, you said that the goal offensively is to get five yards on first down. Yes. Defensively, is it the same? You're trying to keep them under five yards on first down? Yes. Use the, the, the rule that we, we got with analytics people, and they said that last year in college football, if you made more than five yards, you got a first down 60% of the time. If you made less than five, you got a first down 50% of the time. So, therefore, defensively, it would be just the opposite. Uh, so trying to get yards on first down. And we were trying to be physical and run the ball early, and they were cramming the middle, especially on the goal line. So we've got to do a better job. I've hammered with our offensive staff so much about I want to be a physical football team, and I want to be physical in the lower red zone. But I don't want to run up in the middle when there's 13 sitting in there. So that, that's something we can learn from too. And, and they were taking it from me. Uh, they heard me. Uh, but I don't want to be stubborn. I want to be smart. Matt, the Andre Boykins was – Yes, he loves to play. You, you love to compete. When our, our players came out and, and decided what they wanted to be, they wanted to be passionate, they wanted to be accountable, and, and they wanted to be tough. And, and he's all three. And, and that's really, really important. I thought uh, if you look at it, Storm Duck hadn't played in a long time. Dante Belfour hadn't played. Um, so there are a lot of guys out there that hadn't played. Uh, Noah Taylor we'd never seen. Uh, so three sacks is, is good. We expect more. Um, and, and I do think that uh, uh, we've got some work to do, but the defensive staff's never had a game together. Uh, Coach Chizik hadn't called defenses for five years. Uh, so we, we, I, will, I think we'll all see a, a tremendous amount of improvement in a short time. Um, because I knew they weren't very happy there in that late second quarter either. All right. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thank you all. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Matt. Thank you. Okay.